Hello everyone, my name is Yellow and today I'm testing the RTX 4060 on Arc Survival Ascended the score start. And as you guys can see, I will start with everything on the lowest. I will also test frame generation, DLSS and uh, um, higher settings, of course. By the way, guys, leave a like on the video already, man. Let's go into the game and see how it runs. So guys, this is not any TP on the lowest settings. I'm not using any of the FPS codes now. I'm gonna use it only later. And as you guys can see, we can get pretty decent performance, man. 90 frames like 100 it, it of course it really depends a little bit on where you are but as you guys can see pretty nice oh so let me see can i craft um oh, i've already crafted my bed all right <coughs> i'm a little bit sick sorry for that guys my voice is not really on the <laughs> on the best state as you guys can see this is now dlss on quality 1080p with the lowest settings and uh, basically the frames are pr probably like the same i don't know the problem is basically just, I don't know, the GPU sometimes doesn't, I don't know if it's the optimization of the game or not, but the GPU doesn't, is not utilized at 100%. I don't really rem remember how it was at NATP, but uh, yeah, in general, like, Arc needs to be a little bit more optimized, but it's a lot better than before, of course, <coughs> before it was crazy. This is now 1080p with only frame generation on okay i'm uh, right now i'm not using any of the other stuff like uh, um the lss so only frame generation and yeah frame generation actually gives us a little bit of a boost i notice also that the game still has a lot of stutters which is annoying <laughs> not gonna lie but i mean it has been like that for the last time at least from what i remember well yeah, as you guys can see game looks okay i don't know it, uh, <laughs> Man, it's really hard to speak about Dark Survival Ascended because I really love Arc Evolved. So, I don't know. I'm a little bit skeptical about Ascended, honestly. So guys, this is now 1080p with a game with DLSS on quality, frame generation, and uh, um, on the low settings. And as you guys can see, by the distance, I think we are getting a, a storm. I don't know if it's a sunstorm or... Well, I don't even know. I know there's there was a bunch of storms on uh, score start. I don't really know what's happening honestly, but I'm seeing everything in a really weird way. <laughs> it's, it's it's like I'm drunk or something. <laughs> so guys, this is now 1440p native, and as you guys can see, we are still able to get pretty decent performance. Uh, oh, it drops a little bit now. We are uh, uh, it drops to the 60 something at least with the I, I mean, it didn't go down from 60 so. Which is pretty good. So at least for now, I'm not gonna like complain. So, by the way, can I drink from from this guy? I think I can. This is a PV server, by the way. I think you guys have already noticed it. <laughs> but yeah, as you guys can see, still playable, still playable with, without without a problem. So guys, this is now uh, 1440p with TLSS on quality. And yes, if we didn't drop to the 60s now, we are not gonna... Uh, from the 60s, I mean, we are not gonna drop from the 60s now, I think, with TLSS. Of course, as I said, really depends a little bit on where you are. Okay, some areas you will have less frames, some areas you will have, you will have more, so... Something to keep in mind, okay? It's not as linear as it seems. But yeah, running pretty nice with TLSS. This is now 1440p with only frame generation. And uh, basically the same applies, I just got a little bit of a stutter, but I don't know if it was because of frame generation, I think it's just because of the game. <laughs> and yeah, we are able to get pretty nice frames, okay? Now, using frame generation is always gonna place a little bit of input lag, so it's something that you gotta see if it's worth it or not for you, okay? Just try it out. For me, normally, it feels okay using frame generation, so I use it. I don't know. For me, at least, I don't know, notice much of a difference, depending on the game and on the, how many frames you are getting, of course. This is now 1440p with TLSS on quality and with frame generation. Now using both of the technologies at the same time. And yeah, we can actually get pre a pretty nice boost, man. Uh, we are able to get 90-something frames playing at 1440p with a 4060 that is more of a GPU for 1080p. Of course, we are using... Uh, um, <coughs> sorry, we are using uh, uh, a GPU that um, uh, sorry we are using the lowest settings but still i mean pretty nice so guys this is now the console codes with the lowest settings still at nat at native 1080p i'm gonna leave all the codes on the, on the on the description down below you guys can test them out 
um, like the ones that you guys want to use or not. What I notice is that the ones that give me more frames are the volumetric clouds and the shadow quality. Like those two are the ones that make like a big difference in the game uh, performance. At least the biggest difference, let's say. <laughs> this is now 1080p um, using the LSS and the codes. And um, again, pretty nice uh, performance if you have trouble running the game or if you are more competitive and want to have more, more frames, it's a lot better to use this. Of course, if you want to have more frames, this also makes the water really weird. Uh, it, I think it was one of the um, one of the codes, not one of the most important ones, but for sure makes the water look like muddy or whatever. Look at it; it's like the water is black or whatever, man. Really weird. This is not an ATP with uh, um, the native uh, resolution, but with frame generation on this time, okay, and with all of the codes. And as you guys can see, pretty nice performance again i don't think with the lss we will be able to get 200 frames using both of the technologies but i think we will be close to that maybe 160 let's see <laughs> but yeah uh, cpu is also doing great in terms of temperatures temperatures are fine this uh, gpu model has three fans so no problem at all so guys this is now the codes uh, on the lowest settings 1080p frame generation and the LSS. <laughs> Just kidding, man. Man, it's so many things that I gotta say. <laughs> if they if they impl implement some more t technologies, man, I'm not gonna be... I'm not gonna do these videos on 10 to 20 minutes, man. It's gonna be more. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting some drops here. No idea why, but... As you guys can see, pretty nice performance. I think this area is a little bit more demanding. From what I can see. This is now 1440p native using the codes and uh, yeah, pretty nice performance again. Uh, of course, as I said before, this is the lowest setting, so <laughs> it's to be expected <coughs> that the game runs like this, sorry. As I said, I'm a little bit sick, so I gotta, gotta get some cactus, I can eat something. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, and I'm getting a heat stroke, man, come on, that's annoying as hell. <coughs> I remember when I had the base on score start, man, it was annoying, we had to have like water we have to use ghillie inside of, of the cave man we had central cave back in the days man it was crazy this is now 1440p with the lss on quality before i get knocked out let me eat this thing all right and yeah again no problems in in the performance sometimes we can get some of the um, some drops but it's just life nothing we, we can do about it 69 okay <laughs> and yeah <laughs> Man, the place that was very hard to get oil from was Aberration, I still remember. At least starting out. I don't, I don't really know like uh, when you are uh, more advanced. I don't really remember how, how, how I was getting. I think it was on the red zone, right? I don't know. This is now 1440p with frame generation on and the console codes. And as you guys can see, pretty nice performance again. Um, more than 100 frames. Uh, also, again, just depends a little bit on where you are, but for now, more than fine. I'm not con gonna go that way because I don't know what's there, so I'm gonna go back here, let's go. By the way, on the maximum settings I was thinking I'm not really gonna test all the codes, I'm only gonna use the volumetric cloud because if you want to play with the higher settings, I, I mean, there's no there's no really a point to be using all the codes because how, of how ugly the game becomes, so yeah, at least that's what I think. <laughs> This is now 1440p, DLSS on quality frame generation, lowest settings, and uh, all of the console codes, and uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, I will leave all of the console codes on the description, okay? I've already said it, but if you skipped it, if you skipped the video, like, yeah, this is gonna be on the description down below. But yeah, again, 1440p, no problem at all, okay? You can play the game on the lowest settings with this GPU, no problems, okay? Uh, the problem is the like comparison from lowest to highest man it's crazy so i don't know <laughs> the game is really 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 badly optimized so guys this is not the max the maximum settings no the medium settings i'm only going to going to test the medium i tried the highest i tried the epic and uh, yeah doesn't really work well so i'm going with the medium i think it's a good balance but yeah let's go into the game and see how it runs so for the medium settings at any tp we are able to almost get 60 frames i mean s sometimes we get it but sometimes we go down from it as you guys can see by the way, the, the medium settings, I basically so selected the medium preset, placed the rest of the settings on medium, okay, so all is at medium, and uh, I left the right corner of the settings uh, on the presets, but I removed the light bloom, uh, sun shafts, and stuff like that. And yeah, 
not bad, ok, I mean not bad, terrible, as I said, um, <laughs> man, terrible, because look at this, man, like, this is only the medium settings, and the, like, the comparison b between low and medium is so crazy, man, like, in terms of quality and uh, frames. This is now 1080p, uh, now using the LSS on quality, and we can get a l little bit of a boost, but honestly, not something crazy, um, of course, gets a little bit more playable, but still, there's a little bit of a problem, I would say, <laughs> playing on the medium settings, but it's possible, okay, and especially when I try with the console code, the volumetric cloud, it's gonna be a lot better, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think we should be needing to use a code to be able to play with this GPU on medium settings, man. Come on. This is not any TP, medium settings, using only frame generation. And... Uh, now we can get a little bit more frames. Okay, let, let me go back to the other place, see if it drops over there. But I don't know, let's see. Okay, we still have 80. Now it's... Uh, I was saying it's gonna drop a little bit, but no. I guess not. So yeah, I mean, with frame generation we can get a little bit more. So, not bad, not bad at all. Playing like this, 80 frames, it's actually pretty nice. So guys, this is now 1080p, frame generation and DLSS on quality. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know, using using frame generation with TLSS, we can get a little bit of a boost because of TLSS, but it's not something crazy, like, frame ge generation by itself is pretty nice. And especially, like, we are playing at NTP, so downscaling the image using TLSS, I don't know. It makes a difference, but look at the GPU, the GPU is not even at 100%, we basically don't get more frames, it's not even because of the GPU or the CPU, it's basically just the game is not really optimized, honestly. <coughs> so this is now 1440p native and yeah if 1080p we were just a like uh, i don't know if we were close to not being able to play uh, at native of course 1440p is gonna be a problem and uh, yeah it is a little bit of, of a problem we are able to get uh, 40 frames sometimes it goes to 30 but uh, yeah i would say 40 frames almost consistently and yeah, I mean, it's not the worst you can play the game, like, if, especially if you play, like, PvE or single player, so... Yeah, there's that. This is not any TP, medium settings with TLSS on quality. We don't get a crazy boost for some reason. We are basically still at the same level of frames, but I don't know why, because I, I think if you are at 1440p and use TLSS on quality, it basically transforms your resolution... Uh, is it 1080p? I, I, I think it is, right? I'm not really sure right now, but <coughs> I think it's something like that. And yeah, we are not getting the 1080p frames, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, again, oh, and look at that. Because of those, like, uh, things that I can see in front of me, like, this, not glitch, but you know what I mean, becomes so blurry, it's crazy. This is now uh, 1440p, medium settings, now using only frame generation. And now we can almost have 60 frames, so not that bad. I, actually, I'm, I'm quite impressed. There's not much input lag and uh, <coughs> you are able to get almost 60 frames. So, pretty nice. Okay, not gonna lie to you. Actually, pretty nice. I was not expecting it. But still, I don't know. <laughs> I think the game didn't need to, to depend on the frame generation thing, but okay. That's how it works, so what can we do, right? So, 1440p, the LSS on quality, frame generation, and the medium settings. And now, we can get 60 frames consistently, as you guys can see. So, pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Sorry, uh, uh, sometimes I make, like, those pauses because, man, my throat hurts a lot, so... <laughs> yeah, that's why. Uh, but yeah, pretty nice. I'm gonna pass out. It's, by the way, if you see, like, if I go to the menu, the frames drop. I think it's because of the frame generation stopping, because otherwise it will bug the UI, so yeah, keep that in mind. So guys, this is now 1080p, uh, I have volumetric clouds off, okay, um, on the medium settings of course, now using the console codes, we can, I don't know, I think we can get a little bit more frames, but uh, uh, <coughs> I honestly don't really remember how much we were getting at 1080p, I know 1440p was like 40, I think, so, <coughs> yeah. And disabling uh, the, the clouds doesn't like impact a lot on the quality, so it's I think it's a nice thing to do if you can, and if you don't like, I don't know, pay attention to, to the clouds and stuff. So. This is now 1080p, DLSS on quality, volumetric clouds, and medium settings, volumetric clouds off, I mean. <laughs> and yeah, 
uh, we get a little bit of a boost by using the LSS. It's, it's a basically expected. I'm always saying the same if you guys notice, but <laughs> it's because yeah, like the LSS gives more frames, frame generation gives more frames. Of course, you can have like impacts on quality and stuff. Frame generation is more on the input leg, not really quality. Probably ghosting in some games or in some areas, but yeah. So guys, 1080p, DLSS, uh, uh, sorry, no DLSS, <laughs> actually native, frame generation on, and the volumetric clouds off. And as you guys can see, pretty nice performance now. We are able to get uh, basically 100 frames, 90 to 100, depending on where you are, of course. Um, which is pretty impressive. It's almost night time, so I don't know if that can affect a little bit on the frames, but yeah, something to also keep in mind. But yeah, not bad, actually. <laughs> I, I thought, I don't know, I didn't think we will, we could get so much by using the uh, frame ge generation on. This is now DLSS on quality, frame generation on at 1080p using the volumetric cloud, and uh, yeah, pretty nice again. We are basically now, instead of 90 to 100, we are basically 100 to 110, so Basically a boost of like 10 frames probably, something like that, 8 to 10 frames. And yeah, pretty impressive. CPU is always doing fine, no problem with the CPU. In terms of RAM, we use a little bit of RAM, but not even 60, so, uh, 16, sorry, so pretty nice. If you have 16 gigabytes, you are more than fine. So guys, this is now 1440p uh, native using the um, volumetric clouds off. And uh, yeah, I think we were getting like 40 frames i think to 45 frames uh without uh, the vo volumetric cloud option and now with it we can ma basically get like what 10 frames depending on where you are on like where you are i think w before we're getting like 40 to 45 now we can get between uh, 50 and 60 as, as I, uh, I mean now 40 something but it, uh, again it really depends, depends a little bit on where you are of course now using the lss and um, a little bit of an improvement but again not something crazy um, but yeah we can get actually get a little bit by the way yeah and as i said before if you open them the menu the ui uh, the inventory frames drop for some reason i don't know why <laughs> something i've noticed I, I i thought it was from frame generation but it's actually not i don't know honestly now 1440p with frame ge generation on oh look there's bob here hello bob how are you doing damn look at him run <laughs> Man is on a mission. <laughs> <coughs> and yeah, 78 frames. Now, of course, frame generation just. Frame generation is cheating, man. Like, look at that. More than 70 frames. And what the hell is this sound? Who, who's sniffing? Man, come on. Is it you? Come on, Jerboa. Stop with that. Let's see if I can knock it out. Alright. I forgot to actually time one. And to finalize the video, we are now using DLSS on quality with frame generation at the same time, of course with the uh, volumetric clouds clouds, uh, codes. <laughs> and as you guys can see, 80 frames, uh, of course, again, I'm gonna say it again, it depends a little bit on where you are, okay, but uh, at the place that I'm at, by the way, I'm right here, okay, it's just for context, and uh, yeah, pretty nice performance. By the way, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, if it was helpful for you, Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.